Mitch as well at a hinge. Taken by Leicester to Gardner. Now they're building. Zorko could launch from here. He goes long all the way. Great goal. Tapping the ball on rather than taking possession each and every time. They got away with this one. It was, in the end, pretty clever play. But that one could have just been a tap on rather than taking the ball and it going to ground. But a great finish from the captain. I think that's the important thing for the Brisbane Lions. They have to have a player on the And Robertson is feeling the effects of that ankle as he kicks it. Off hands, Perry. It spills. Lions follies it through. Spectacular. Coming back after that ankle injury. Ball hits the deck and finally they get a break through the wall. High ball out. Rich and he'll juggle the mark. Let's see him take the aerial route too often. Yeah, just outside his range. McInerney wants it low. Crowd urging him to go. Just lays it up to the top of the square. The big O stands tall off. Hands big stay. Turns Crummer and snaps a great goal. Be competent in the air. There's a cracking attempt. Unfortunately, a bit of woodwork got in the way. But look at McStay. He hits the deck. No one's thinking McStay. His man's four metres off ball watching and he does the damage. In the grandstand. By Martin Zorko just spiked it inside 50. Hardigan and McStay wrestling. Hitwood arrives quickly. Out of play again. The Lions have ended up with the footy, but they do get a shot at goal. Eric Hipwood he struggled with the regulation set shot, but from the pocket, he can work the angles magnificently. An awesome finish from Eric Hipwood. Eventually, you're always going to do that. He's the reason for the free kick. Felt like it was off the knee, which is, shouldn't be out on the full. That was the secondary after it was over the line, but Brisbane are two spare players behind the ball. Unless Yeoman's kick smothered. Sloan the gather. Robinson. He collected and he snaps it straight back over their heads. Oh, he'll enjoy that, Mitch Robinson. Top of the screen. Right of the court, right of the screen, right in the corner. The ball just comes out. Good pressure there from Berry. And like the wide receiver, Mitch has just said, oh, how good is this? Rory Sloan's just giving me a handball. I'll just bang it through. Releases Cameron. You won't catch Charlie. He bangs it long. McCarthy is crafty in this situation. Oh, it's a free kick for front on contact. Against Brown. Brown. McCarthy. Brown ended up infringing. McCarthy kicks the goal. And Brisbane are back in front. Oh, McInerney. What a hit out. Straight down the throat of Neil. The clearance to the Lions. And Martin stands tall. Rainer. No certainty this. And Steph Martin. Just guides it, just caresses it through the middle. The Brisbane Lions go bang, bang, and they take the advantage again. So, but that Cam Rayner just launched himself. He has got the full licence to go, but this is good from Steph Martin. Holds front position, launches him out the contest, yep. and keeps the ball in front. So second grab on the way down just takes it easy. And that would be a lot of relief for the big Ruckman. Good on him. Good, good passage of play all around. Luke Hodge enjoying it. They can send it back inside 50, and it was excellent work. He has had some worries with his set shot kicking of late. Plenty of personal pressure on this one. He hits it near post. It straightens up nicely. That'll do his confidence a world of good. Up at the ball carrier, and then just a nice little weighted 35-metre pass. That's a really... It's Rainer emerges. High ball in, one-on-ones everywhere. Cameron wrestling, free kick. Which way? And it's going Brisbane's way. Players grappling here. Charlie Cameron, the former Crow, made the switch at the end of 2017. And he steps up in the third quarter and punishes his old signs. The Lions waste no time. McCarthy down there, off hands. Charlie Cameron, he'll go over his shoulder. Charlie with a brilliant finish from the pocket and the immediate response. It's the space he's got, though. His teammate's just trailing off his ex-teammate, I should say. And once he put on the don't argue, it was all over.
Looked like he had the Talia matchup, wasn't yep. on that occasion. And now it releases Berry. They can go inside 50 again. A kick long, McStay. Is there hands in the back? Most, no. Most certainly was hands absolutely in the back. Absolutely hands in the back. But... And whether it was a push is there. So look here, and that's oh, it's clear in the space, I think. I think it's a push. It looked like a push. Maybe a fortunate one for the Lions, but they take full advantage of it. He gets a, a bit nervous in front of goals at times, but that's a really good um, execution of his shot. Have a look again. Nice pass from Berry. Yeah, that's a, just a little push up. The Lions have started this final turn well. It's been one of the Short best. kick, danger. Kelly wrapped up. Berry had him. Cameron. He's got options inboard, but Charlie can go himself. Oh. Charlie can go all the way himself. Out into that space. Here's the drop mark that puts the enormous pressure on the defence for Adelaide. Charlie comes in. Just a broken tackle as well from Atkins. Had just reached. Tackling, kicking goals as well. There's Lockie Neal. McCluggage with strength dragged down. And it affected the kick. And the Crows lifting oh. again. Oh, Keith, terrible. Turnover to McStay. He's got a one-on-one -on -one inside 50. He goes long himself. Daniel McStay goes all the way. To the corridor. And just he's, uh, he's, I think, butchered the option yeah. and the execution on that occasion. Just two. The risk-reward was...